Hi Capricorn, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. A couple things here before we start your reading. This is uh, your Mercury retrograde. What is happening during this time? Uh, Mer Mercury retrograde started on May 10th, uh, goes through uh, June 3rd. And so we're going to see what the energy is here for you in love. A couple things here before we get started. Uh, you can now follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Also, if this reading resonates with you, there will be an extended reading link below in the description box. Um, some, some of the readings I'm not doing extended, but you'll know if there's an extended or not, you'll see the link below. And with that, let's just get started with your reading. Also, I want to say thank you for all of your likes, uh, shares, subscribing to my channel. I do appreciate you and connecting with me. So with that, uh, I'm pulling your cards here. I'm going to pull three um, tarot cards as well before we get started. So let's see what the energy is here for Capricorn during Mercury Retrograde. All right. Okay. Okay, you got three uh, major arcana cards there. Forgot to put this up there. All right, so definitely see um, a relationship or a romantic interest here. All right. Okay. <clears throat> There's definitely somebody thinking about you, okay? <clears throat> I'm going to say Capricorn. I'm going to say here that um, I'm feeling here a couple things. I'm feeling one, I feel like there could have been some sort of ending between you and somebody here with the death card, okay? Um, and it feels here, you have financial constraints. So I'm going to say here, you know, this could be a relationship where there were money problems. I mean, maybe the two of you were in a situation, you know, that this is going to be only for a small select of you probably. But some of you could actually be a result of a financial situation. But the other most energy that I get here is that there was definitely something lacking here in the connection, in the relationship, okay? It feels like uh, it feels like a one-sided relationship is really what I get there, okay? Not a lot of stability, not a lot of equal give and take is the energy I pick up there, okay? We're going to pull more, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Capricorn, we're going to pull more. Tara, we'll see what that's about, okay? Now we have here blossoming abundance and we have the nine of cups. Okay, so there's something manifesting here, I'm going to say, right? With the death card, it always brings a new beginning, right? It always brings a rebirth of a new situation. We're going to see what that situation is, but I feel here there's something here manifesting. Okay, nine of cups here, something that's going to make you feel really happy, content, uh, could be a wish too. We're going to see what that's about. And then we have here uh, the thinking woman, which is with the tower. Okay. So <clears throat> interesting with this, I feel like there's something here about to happen. I'm going to say it's not about male or female. It's about the energy. All right. Now, this can be the energy that uh, somebody here is thinking about you, Capricorn, thinking about what happened, right? It does feel like um, there was some sort of ending here that maybe caused, it could have caused a lot of drama here. It could be something here you weren't thinking about. I'm going to say here it could also be you, you know, thinking about uh, this person, the situation, uh, we'll see how it plays out. Now, I'm going to say roles and energies can be reversed, right? This is a, a connection here where you and this person definitely care for each other, right? Have romantic feelings for each other. You also have here the high priestess, okay? Uh, I, I'm getting here, I'm hearing like maybe, you know, it's unknown here, right? Maybe it's unknown here how this person really feels about you, but I'm going to say here there's mutual feelings here with that caring connection. 
Let's pull some more cards um, because it is still a little vague here for me what's happening so let's see what's going on here capricorn okay so we have the six of swords i'm gonna say here uh we have the hangman okay and we have the empress so we have strong scorpio aquarius libra gemini energy cancer scorpio pisces and we now have strong libra again we have the high priestess which is strong cancerian or pisces okay so we have the six of swords right so i feel it's a situation here capricorn um you may you may have decided to move on from a situation that was lacking right it was you know i'm just gonna say here it feels like you know um a situation that was i'm hearing like scarce ended dead right a situation that was dead here it, it feels like uh it wasn't going anywhere okay some of you this could be somebody who lives at a distance and i'm gonna say here too this is about taking what you learned moving on from a situation here okay and i feel it's a situation that is lacking now um like i said you could have moved on from this person or they could have moved on from you but I feel like you're kind of getting over it is the energy that I get here. Now you have the hangman here as well. All right. So I feel, um, I feel Capricorn, this is an energy of you starting to see things from a different perspective. For some of you, I feel like this possibly could have been a karmic relationship here. And now that karma is being released uh, with the hangman. Uh, we'll see. We're going to pull more cards. And then you have the Empress. Okay. So, um, you know, the really the energy that I'm getting here with the Empress and the High Priestess, I feel an energy here of... I'm just going to say for some of you, because now I'm seeing the Lover's card here, Gemini energy. This could be somebody here you may have found out about somebody else here in the picture. I'm just going to say, and that could be why your person here was not giving. Uh, for others, I feel the energy here that this is somebody you felt a very, very strong connection. And like I said, I do feel like there is mutual feelings here. But I feel like, too, there's something unknown here, okay? Maybe something here that this person is not telling you and i'm gonna say here there could be an energy here you may find out something you may find out something here um about this person about this situation that you didn't know okay but i'm also going to say the energy i get here is that you've grown a lot through this connection this relationship okay and um, like i said for some of you i feel like this could be a karmic situation but let's pull some more cards what else can you tell Capricorn? Okay, Two of Pentacles, King of Swords, Page of Pentacles, interesting, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, Let's see what's below that Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Six of Cups. Okay. What I get here, Capricorn, I feel that uh, there is somebody here, and I feel it's a new energy. Okay. I feel it's a new energy. I feel like you've got somebody new with this Page of Pentacles here coming into your life, a new soulmate energy. It may be even like a friend from the past or maybe somebody you knew in the past but you never really dated. Um, I feel like this is giving you other options and also giving you uh, some sort of fresh start here if you're wanting it, okay? I feel like too you may have some mixed emotions about this. But like I said, I feel like you're seeing things from a different perspective here and I feel there's an opportunity here for you to move forward, okay? To move forward in a new direction here, okay? You got Cancerian energy there. 
uh, could be another earth sign, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Um, and see, and this is what I see here. I feel like you're you're moving on from a situation that that wasn't balanced, right? Like I said, I felt like there was not equal give and take. There was something lacking here, right? Or an energy here of just feeling like things weren't going anywhere, a dead, you know, non-movement energy. And I feel like you're trying to move on from a situation that wasn't bringing you balance is what I get here, okay? Um, and it could be a, a connection or a relationship that's just been on and off. You have the King of Swords as well. Um, so, you know, I feel like this is, you know, one, I feel like this is clarity. Two, I feel like you could be dealing with a King of Swords energy, somebody who, um, you know, things just, you know, were in limbo, right? This person here, um, I feel probably wasn't showing, even though they do care about you, uh, like I said here, uh, I do feel like there's there's caring here, there's love, uh, but this is someone I feel who was not showing it, who was not putting in the work or the effort in this connection, okay? And like I said, I feel like this could be a situation that just never took off here, right? Because this is your abundance card, blossoming abundance, but it feels like this is a situation where it was scarce, right? There was not a whole lot of effort, I feel, being made here. And, um, you know, it, it, it made you think is really what I get here with this thinking woman. Now you have uh, the Page of Pentacles, which we saw here below. I feel like this may be, um, you know, something here that some sort of message that comes out of the blue. Now, I'm not going to rule out it, that it's your person, this person that I see here, that there was some sort of ending. But I also feel, you know, some of you here, this is going to be somebody new, okay? Something new here that is going to uh, blossom here, manifest, okay? There's a rebirth. But giving you a fresh start communication, right? Seven of cups, six of cups. And that's what I was saying here. I feel like it's a new option for you. I'm going to pull three more cards and just see here if we can narrow it down, right? Um, but sometimes spirit gives me more than one person here because there's so many of you. It's a general reading and some of you, it's going to be somebody new. Some of you, it's going to be this person you're dealing with. Okay, we got devil energy, your energy Capricorn. We have the Eight of Swords, and we have the Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah. So, King of Cups, bottom of the deck, all right? Yeah, it's weird because this person does have love for you. They do care about you, all right? I feel what's happening here, uh, Capricorn, really what I get here, okay? You have the Devil card and you have the Eight of Swords, okay? I feel like you got a situation, right, that's been very, um, probably hard to release. This person's probably a temptation. There may be a very strong sexual attraction between you and this person here. Um, but I get the energy that this is someone who keeps you stuck, right? The Eight of Swords is falling here with the King of Swords, the Hangman, and the Nine of Cups. It's a situation that isn't growing, okay? And it may have already ended here for some of you. But I get the energy here that this is, I feel like, you know, this is what you're thinking about, exploring other options here with this Page of Pentacles. There's somebody new in the picture, um, coming in for you is really the stronger energy that I get here more so than a person returning, okay? Because sometimes with Mercury retrograde, and now we got the um, lunar eclipse, um, it's an energy where, you know, sometimes we have endings and we put them away, right? We, we move on from them, Um you know, where we really come to that realization, right? The emotions surface and we, and like I said here, you're thinking about this. So 
I feel like there's a message coming through, but I really feel like it's a new person. So I'm going to pull some Kipper cards. We're going to see what the Kipper cards say. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So... You got two people here who are showing up with the Kipper card. You got a thief, okay? A thief with a false person, I'm going to say. All right. I feel like this is the person you were dealing with, okay? Somebody who was not being real to, to you is really the energy that I get, okay, there. You also have an official person, okay? And remember, it's not about male or female. It's about the energy here. But I feel here that you got somebody new coming in. You also have unexpected income. Now you may receive some sort of unexpected income, but I'm seeing this as this tower here, this message here, something here that's coming in for you that may help you walk away from this this person or, you know, this past situation or maybe help you move on from it, okay? So I feel like this is kind of like uh, an energy of Somebody coming into your life, you're not expecting it, okay? And it's uh, going to be prosperous for you, right? Is what the energy I get there, okay? Now, some of you may get some unexpected money too. You have a lot of twos here, two, 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 right? Um, number two may be important to you. Um, you may be seeing synchronicities of two. Pay attention. Uh, to synchronicities if you're seeing them and and then look at this so you have main female and you have official person right feminine energy here uh there's a couple definitely a couple somebody i feel who's gonna give you attention right and i feel like that could be right what leads you into a new direction right you have marriage here as well all right, so I feel like you got a new person coming into your life, Capricorn. I've been seeing this for a while. Um, you know, it's going to happen in different stages for everybody. But I feel like you got somebody else that you dealt with that wasn't real with you, okay? Uh, maybe didn't have good intentions or, you know, you know, really hid who they were from you or what their feelings were for you. But I feel like you got somebody new coming in here, okay? So Capricorn, I'm not going to do um, an extended because I feel the energy is, is more so on a new energy and you kind of moving on from this situation. So um, we'll leave it at that, Capricorn. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.